Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Callie, and you're just in time for my Vlogoween series. So make sure that Yay. you hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. So guys, today's video, I brought my friend Cheyenne with me. Hello. Just a little bit, I can eat it, there we go. So today I have my friend Cheyenne with me. You might know her if you follow me on Instagram because she is part of the We're Not Sure Yet podcast. Hey. hey. We're not sure yet. You can see. Gotta get their merch, guys. <laughs> I have a shirt. It's amazing. Hit me up. Thanks. So what are you, so you guys are doing something for October as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So every October, we call it Spooktober, and um, we just do like extra spooky episodes oh, that month yeah. so we're like okay every october we know we're like not yeah. gonna sleep at night because we do like super creepy stuff mm -hmm. um <laughs> but it's fine it's it's fine <laughs> Oh who God. needs sleep it's that's okay. so exciting though i'm excited i love it it's fun doing that you guys already came out with the black dahlia and on a side note yeah. guys that's my favorite murder story oh is it really yeah and i don't i mean one. i don't think people should have a favorite murder but that's mine but yeah <laughs> but i love like a whole it podcast called my favorite murder so it's fine oh see there you go i'm not alone then yeah. yeah but that was my favorite so guys they already got started you gotta go follow them i will put all their stuff down below in the description yes. for you guys so give them a follow yeah. thanks i had to get my caffeine so guys i just tried something new i got a pumpkin frap with mocha drizzle and caramel drizzle and it's pretty good i can't lie it's it good. honestly looks pretty good and it's just like a hint of pumpkin spice. <laughs> All right, question number one. What was your favorite Halloween costume you've ever worn? <gasps> um, I don't know. Okay, Halloween every year, it's like one of those things I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna like start early yeah. and you know, plan something like elaborate. Um, but then that fails every time. Actually this year, I, I actually planned it. But in the past, I would say, um, I bought like a sailor. I cheated. I just bought like a full, like a costume in a bag type cute. thing. Um, and I was like a little sailor with like How the hat cute. and my red lipstick. Yeah. I never even thought about being a sailor. How cute. It was a pretty like fun yeah. costume. How fun. Comfortable. How, how old were you? Oh, this was recent. Like, oh, okay. Like 20, <laughs> 20. As a kid, You're I don't like just recent. <laughs> <laughs> I wore it the other day. Because as a kid, we were always just like cats or witches or yeah, something very true yeah but um this is probably like 2014 okay yeah cool oh, that's just, good my phone's just going off um yeah i think my favorite halloween costume was when i did corella deville and that was a couple <gasps> years ago if i find the picture guys i'll show you if you have a picture you, we gotta add it yeah to the I'll, I'll try to find one um but that was my favorite because i literally guys i had like the hair the face the crazy eyebrows and everything and it was all like store-bought stuff like i didn't go buy a costume i was going to but i was yeah. really cheap Mm -hmm. I'm very Actually. cheap with costumes. Like, girl, we could create this. Because costumes are pretty expensive. Yeah, it's like, like the I ones could like make my this. sailor. Yeah, I was like, this is this was a waste. Yeah. So um, that was my favorite. Like, as an adult, that was my favorite. As a kid, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite as a kid. Like, I never got to yeah. dress up like what I wanted. Like, my mom kind of like had an influence. Good yeah, influence. I mean, you can't control like what you are as a kid. Yeah, I think I was like Tinkerbell one year, and it was like really cool. Oh, how cute! Yeah, I was like obsessed. I was like, yeah, I'm Tinkerbell because I have blonde hair, so I was like, I want to be Tinkerbell. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. Oh, I always wanted to be a princess. I never was. Oh, that just shows what my life is. I don't is. think I <laughs> was ever a princess either. <laughs> Man, sad day. But whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, until what age did you trick or treat? Oh God, this is kind of embarrassing. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um that's a good question <laughs> i would say i stopped in like <laughs> i'm scared to say <laughs> like eighth grade <laughs> really is that old is, is that old, embarrassing old like 13 yeah i think i was the same though but you know what it wasn't I about trick-or-treating it wasn't about trick-or-treating it was like hanging out with your friends because you're like yeah, a teenager yeah. and your parents finally like let you walk the neighborhood exactly that exactly. was kind of it i want to say i was like 11 but okay. i do think i still went as i was older 
I just didn't. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I remember thinking like it felt kind of dumb because we were like older. But yeah. what you said, we were like walking by ourselves and like kind I don't know, spooky. eat the candy, like eat some of our candy like before we mm -hmm. got home, so no one could tell us exactly. to slow down. Yeah, dude. But now I'm like 24 and I still want to go trick or treating. I'm like, oh, how fun. I would if I could. I have Stella and also when she's like three or four, I'll True, take her. Oh, there you go. Give me your candy. <laughs> but right now she's too young. Like I saw at yeah. one, like she can't eat half of that stuff, dude. Like no. Yeah. True. Uh, oh, what is your favorite Halloween candy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you are great. Halloween candy. That's just like any candy, right? Just like whatever candy I love getting. Yeah. Type of thing. Um. I really liked, as a kid, I remember getting those like, you know how like Hershey's makes those like variety pack oh, yes. of stuff? So there's like yes. the like milk chocolate one, like this big, and then there's like the, um, crinkly the one. crunch, crunch one, crinkly. like, crunch. no, I knew what you meant, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I used to like those, like the crunch ones specifically. They have like okay. a yellow and red wrapper or the something like men. that. The Goodman bars. I yes. Think. Yeah, that's yes. what they were. I used to love getting those. Oh, they had those are bomb. So random, but yeah. I think what I, you? you know what, I think, I actually have a favorite Halloween candy, which everybody hates. I know. I like candy corn. <gasps> oh, my mom does too. Thank God. Is that okay. a Libra thing? Because my mom's a Libra too. Oh, you know what, it might be. <laughs> <gasps> Libra thing, guys? Oh my gosh. If you're a Libra, and you love candy corn, let Cal Let know. me know, because I really want to know this now. I'm gonna yeah. ask everybody that's Lee Ryan, do you like candy corn? Candy corn is pretty good. It's just, it, it like, it's so sweet. Tell me you what I don't like. You know what though, I have a sweet tooth. I don't even think it's mm. sweet, I just like the taste. It's not True. crazy, but I have a sweet tooth. Obviously you can tell yeah. me my freaking frappuccino <laughs> drizzled. But yeah, I love candy corn. That's actually just, a good choice. My nails are kind of candy. <gasps> Cute. They go yellow too. So festive. You're so festive in this video. Oh yeah. I'm not. I, I try I'm, to be because I have one <laughs> month to pack it all in. Yeah. Holy, I was like, really? I'm like, babe, I have one month. Okay. In November, I gotta be all like. He's like, simple. get it all out. Yep. And I do. System. I definitely do. <laughs> um. Do you like horror films? And which one is your favorite? Oh God. Um. I'm kind of a little bitch <laughs> when it comes to scary movies oh, no. um i noticed that though with your poll i was like oh this is cheyenne yeah <laughs> yeah i um i don't really like horror movies i tried watching texas chainsaw massacre one time oh. and i was like no it's a real story yeah, and my mom actually lived by that bridge. There's a bridge in the Wait, movie. Wait, that's a real story? Real story. Come on, conspiracy theory. I know. <laughs> you need to look this up. Now look it up, do an episode what? and let me know. Yeah, serious. It's a true story. I, oh, you know what? No. Mm -mm. I like horror films. I like horror films. I don't like the gory. I don't like like the demon possession, whatever. Yeah. I like like Chainsaw Massacre, but because it's a true story, I like true stories. Because like that yeah. stuff really happened. But that makes it scarier, because you're like, then then you know like this is possible. Yeah, you know? it was also back in the day. I mean. <laughs> now you don't hear about stuff like that. There are killers today too. I know, they're just, they're not creative. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably cut that one out. Cut it out, Kelly, okay. Um, yeah, so I like them, but now, like I said though, nowadays it's more like gory and gross, and it's like, okay, that's not what this is about. Yeah. You know, but yeah. I don't know. I just can't, I'm, I'm just a little, Scaredy cat. So this question, have you ever played with an Ouija board? That's a death no from Cheyenne. Hell no. Hell no. Me either. I'm not emphasis either. on the hell and <laughs> emphasis on the no. But you know what I you know what though? I would never ever play with that. I've just heard Me too either. many stories. Me and either. two, I heard that if you try to get rid of it, that it'll it'll show back up in your house. Yes. One time we were camping in Yosemite with my dad's family and we were sharing like ghost stories and stuff and one of them said that they had like my uncle I think said he had a friend who played with a Ouija board with his friends oh, no. and um, Just like weird stuff started happening and then they tried throwing it away and then it appeared like on his um, Front porch oh, my God. the next day But he oh, dumped no. it like not in his like outside trash can like yeah. he took it to like 
a business dumpster and then it still showed up like on his porch oh my god see true see uh uh nope no. i don't mess that hell no nope don't want to know mm -mm. Don't care. have you ever had anything creepy happen to you while you were alone yes Ooh. What's <laughs> um <clears throat> we lived like in a part we, we lived like a different apartments than uh -huh. where we live right now and we lived on the second floor and i was in asb oh, okay yeah, yeah, yeah student body um i was one of those kids and <laughs> we had like meetings early in the morning mm -hmm. so when we would leave it would still be dark outside wow, so my mom and sister early. yeah so my mom and sister were in the car like warming the car up and i was taking forever to get ready so they were like okay just come down when you're ready so i was like all right and we were like painting our kitchen so we had like our kitchen was a mess we had like all this like just random crap all over the table and the blinds were pulled up and the window yeah. was open just to kind of like you know let it dry and stuff and i went to go put on my jacket and when i turned around i was like facing like our big kitchen window and when i turned around there was a face staring at me did i never tell you this story? oh my gosh there no. was there was a face I'm like this happened to you yeah there was oh a face gosh. staring at me it was um it was like a real person it was like i mean it was like bald and it had like big 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 dark eyes and it was just like staring at me so literally like my heart stopped so I like had this quick thought of like maybe I'm like my mind is just like messing with me and like the stuff on the table is like morphing into what looks like a face in the yeah. window reflection you get me yeah. so like I, I like locked eyes with the face and I ran to the table the kitchen table and I started like moving everything around hoping that like the face would disappear but it didn't. <laughs> it stayed. Oh, girl, I would have ran. I would have ran. She's like trying to figure this out. I'm like, nope, I'm <laughs> so out of here. So then I ran downstairs, and then like when I got in the car, I started crying, and like I was more afraid that like no one was gonna believe me. Oh, you know? yeah. But then my mom was like, no, I mean I believe you. If you're you're clearly like this upset, so clearly yeah, like you did see something. A joke and yeah. Um. But we did find out that I had before I was born. I had a god brother and he had like passed away of cancers and i and i never met him because yeah. i was like a baby or like my mom was like pregnant with me and like he died like a couple months after i was born yeah. and i guess like he came to my godmother in a dream one time and told her oh i'm gonna be cheyenne's um guardian angel like when she's like her whole life. Oh, I have to. So, so oh. when we were talking, like later that night, when we were talking about the fact that I saw the face in the window, um, my mom like interrupted the conversation. She was like, "Wait, what's what's today?" And it was November 29th, I believe. And she started crying. We were like, "Why are you crying? What's so sad about November 29th?" And she was like, "Today is Chris's birthday." And she was like, "And he was oh 16 gosh. when he passed away." and you're so this had to have been like junior year she was like and you're um 16 now so she was like maybe the face was just like chris checking in on you wow yeah you could have been like you could have give me a warning <laughs> i looked up and i was like i'm good bro like you yeah, don't have to like, mess like with not me. anymore yeah so every november i get like really weird i don't like to go in the kitchen when it's dark outside because wow. i'm like Oh, that's so insane yeah how cool though like at least it wasn't like weird like you have like a <laughs> i mean we know. don't know for sure that that was chris but i'm like i'd like to believe that it was because it was really scary yeah everything happens yeah. for a reason i think like even encounters you know yeah not going too definitely deep, but, yeah yeah wow. it's a pretty crazy story that's really cool though yeah that's kind of, i mean it's cool it's not cool you got scared to death but yeah <laughs> it's fine yeah <laughs> Um, I have a lot, you know what though guys, I have a lot of things that happen with me when I'm alone, like creepy, like I feel mm. like it's creepy, but like I said, I think a lot of it's my mind playing tricks on me, because I, I yeah. am, I'm not a scaredy cat, but I am, like if I'm alone in a dark room, oh my gosh, help me, like I need, yeah. a, I need a nightlight, mm. but, um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't have like a, I don't have a story, like one story, I don't think. Just I like just, little incidences? Yeah, like little things happen here and there, mm. but... Yeah, so I, I have Creepy. things on when I'm alone. Are you superstitious? Yes. I am too. I am. I hate that I am, but I am. Not necessarily like, 
no I am just kidding I was gonna say not necessarily like the typical like oh you can't walk under a ladder but I am oh, like don't me. open an, an umbrella inside, inside. Don't, don't walk, walk under a ladder <laughs> um, I'm a huge like knock on wood type of person like if somebody says something and I don't want it to come true I will freak out until they knock on wood the salt Yes, the soul over your shoulder. Yes. Um, what's another one? There's so one more that I'm super superstitious about. Oh, mine, like when I was pregnant, I waited until mm -hmm. I was 12 weeks because you're supposed to wait till you're at least like three months around there yeah. to tell somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm super superstitious about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I just am. And Julio knows this. He makes fun of me. He's like, stop. You're, you're super superstitious. See, my like, family makes fun of me too. But it's true. And I'm all about, like, I don't know if this would be considered like superstitious, but I'm also all about like, um, like manifesting, like if you say something and you, you put it yes. out in the universe, like yes. make sure that's something that like you want to happen, yep. like things like that. I'm like, the universe is listening. Don't mess with it. Have you ever watched Supernatural Explorer shows? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Ghost Adventures. That's what we wanted to do. Zach Vegas. <laughs> Love it. What's your, do you have a favorite horror book or scary horror book? book. Scary book. I don't, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but it's like the only one I read, and I remember it was really good. Um, in high school, <clears throat> excuse me, in high school, we'd read one about like some like haunted dollhouse. I remember this. Like that. Yeah, it was called The Doll's House, I think. Oh, was it? I think so. <laughs> yeah, it, I remember that was pretty cool. If anybody's in high school and reads that book, let us know. Yeah, <laughs> it was really good, and then I read some other like horror book about like some like haunted house the girl lived in and then like she always saw this like white cat outside of her room i don't even know but it was a really good story oh, yeah cool. yeah i think it was the doll's house i've read it too i've heard it that does sound familiar yeah. like it being called that um i don't have a favorite book but i like edgar Allan poe i think he's creepy so mm -hmm. i love his stories i could read them all day yeah but yeah i don't have a favorite book oh. would you or have you ever taken part in a seance no. <laughs> oh my god. No, I ha I haven't. I don't think. Okay. Did you ever play that that game as a kid, light as a feather, stiff as a board? Yes. I mean, I played that, which was a little like witchcraft seance -y yeah. kind of. I think it was no. like all play though. Yeah. yeah. As a kid, I I could have sworn my friend lifted up in the air when we were doing that. No I think it was just my mind playing tricks on me. Maybe um, a rope. Yeah. <laughs> An invisible rope. Um, but no, I don't think I have. Yeah. I have it. I, no, I don't think I have it. You're like, I don't know what I do when I'm sleeping. <laughs> For real. Um, yeah, no, I have not. I have not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good choice. <laughs> Yeah, I just always think of like Jennifer's body when that stuff happens. I've like, never seen that movie, but oh, it looks no, really you scary. I don't want to watch it, scary. You are alone in your house and you hear footsteps coming. What do you do now? It says from downstairs, but I know you live in like a one story. So. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a really scary. Um, what do I do? I would probably start praying. <laughs> Oh just footsteps? God. You'd start praying? <laughs> That's scary! If I'm home alone, what are the footsteps? <laughs> very true. You know what? Very true. I didn't think about that. Or I would probably like, I guess just like start praying and then like, I'd probably like check it out. Like, who is oh, that? Mm, I'd there? run. Run. Just run outside. <laughs> Dunzo. Call 911. Yep. <laughs> I would. I'd be like, there's footsteps coming. Yeah. Oh, well, that is pretty scary though. Oh no. Mm -mm. And you know what's funny? I live in a two story, so like, because it says in a two story. Yeah. Like, I'm always downstairs and I'll hear stuff upstairs, but we have two cats. So True. I'll hear them running. And I'm like, yeah. What was that? That's what a good point. That? I guess like, I would probably make sure, like, check out to see where all the cats are yeah. first. But yeah, but if they were like legit footsteps, like you hear, like, I think so yeah, I would just run. I don't know. I mean, if yeah. they're in the house, I run outside. There's slight chance of them actually getting me. Yeah. You know? True. But I don't know. Every horror movie, they always get them somehow. I don't understand. If you could choose from a pet, like Sabrina the Witch, mm -hmm. what would you pick? 
Mine would be a bat. I already know mine. I would want a pet bat. That's it. That's a dud. I'm happy. Make sure the bat doesn't give you the coronavirus, though. Oh, you're right. <laughs> nice bat. I just ruined it for you. I know. Um, I know. Now I need a new. <laughs> I mean, I don't want. That's what I want. Oh my god, you're wildin'. Um, I mean, I don't want to be basic and just say like a cat, but that would be pretty cool. Or like a monkey, like Ross has on Friends. Oh yeah. You watch Friends? I've seen some of it, but I okay. know he has monkeys. So yeah, like that. in the earlier episode, he has Marcel, his little like monkey. That would be pretty dope because like That'd monkeys are cool. so human like. Yeah. I'm gonna say a monkey. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. He could like talk to you and stuff. Yeah. How cute. Yeah, I'm obsessed with bats and stuff. I mean, I know the coronavirus, but I'm obsessed with bats. <laughs> I love it. I like they're so cute. Yeah. They're so cute. Like the baby little bats are so cute, you guys. Do you have a favorite monster or villain? Like from a movie? Um, yeah. Or, or like an actual, like an urban legend type thing. Um, I think whatever, if you just oh. have a favorite. Um, I don't know. You know who I think is really cool? This isn't really like halloween e, but Bane from like, um, Batman The Dark Knight Rises. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. like the dude with like the thing on his face. <laughs> he's yeah. pretty cool. I don't know why. I, th I just think like he's dope. That's um, cool. Villain. I can't think of like a Halloween type one though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's cool though. I didn't even think about him. Yeah. We, were, we were talking about this one day, Julio and I. He said the Joker, and I was like, yeah, he's a cool villain. Yeah. Um, I always liked the creature from the Black Lagoon. I mm. love the little sea creatures. I think they're so crazy, and like, I think that's my favorite just because, like, Really, like, if I was at a, if I was in the middle of a lake by myself on a boat, I would definitely think something's gonna come up and eat. Yeah, don't oh, care. Yeah. Whatever, it's a giant fish. I think something's gonna come grab me. <laughs> Just something. Like literally, I think something's <laughs> gonna come and grab me. Yeah. By the feet. So yeah, I mean, you never Ooh. know. People don't explore water like they think they do. So that's why. You're being chased by a masked killer. What do you grab on the way out of your house? Oh god, probably, probably just like a big ass knife. Maybe. There you go. Yeah, like out. I'm trying to think like, like realistically, like what would be like closest for me to grab in my apartment. Yeah. Yeah, probably a knife. True. Kind of basic. I wish I had like a more creative answer. Like a sledgehammer. <laughs> so, yeah. You have one of those in your house. I don't oh know. Oh my though. god. Um, yeah, probably a knife. Yeah, I mean, that could definitely help you. Yeah. That could definitely help you. Um, yeah, I don't know. My phone? I'm just oh, kidding. that's a good one. So I get video Call 911? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's what everybody does nowadays. They just videotape yeah, everything. Yeah, for real. No, um, so realistic and, like, thinking if I was running out of my house. God, I don't know. Like, I just don't. I think just anything that I could hit somebody with and I know. Yeah. Like a pan, I guess. That's a good one. Like a, a pan, pan. Or maybe like a, I don't know, like a vase or like a yeah, mug or like something like that where you yeah. could just like. You, you know if you hit them or like throw it at them, you might knock them out for a while. Yeah. Maybe like a, like a liquor bottle <laughs> or something like that for sure. That for <laughs> sure. I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't know. Seriously, I just, I don't think I really have anything that's, like, crazy that I would grab. Yeah. But I, de I definitely would want to take my phone, though, honestly, because, yeah, then I call 911. I can call somebody. Because yeah. always in scary movies, they don't have a phone. And then when they go Never. to the house, that person is the killer. Like, you know? Yeah. It's like, okay. Like, come on. Get to know your neighbors. I have good neighbors, though, so, like, I hope. Good. Don't I don't really any. know my neighbors. Well, I Secrets. do know my neighbors. They seem like they're fine. Yeah. Fingers like, crossed. When they open the door. Like, if someone's banging on my door. No. Mm -mm. Seen too many movies. Yeah. I hate when people own. come to my door. I'm like, oh my god. We're in on 2020. Text your own. me. <laughs> Text me. Send me an email. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think that was our question. <gasps> that was so fun. I know. Alright guys, so thank you so much for hanging out with us, answering some Halloween questions. Yes. Hopefully this will give you guys something to talk about maybe at home, mm -hmm. with your kids, with your friends. Do that whatever. on Halloween. Just like yeah. hang out and just ask each other like spooky questions. I'll be super go. fun. Get to know, get to know one another, you know, in this yeah. world that we're hooked 
on our phones. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you guys again for hanging out with us. And again, if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. Um, this Vlogoween series is literally going to be lit. I'm excited. It's so exciting. So, yeah. I will list everything down below for the We're Not Sure Yet podcast. Hey. Make sure to give them a huge follow and show some love. And I will see Please. you guys in the next video. Wow. Wow.